Hey everybody, this is John. I want to take a few minutes and walk through the Power Earnings Gap features inside of the Trend Follower Indicator. If you're not familiar with a Power Earnings Gap, it's essentially a large increase in price as well as volume based on an earnings report. There's also some additional criteria that we can look for as it relates to a Power Earnings Gap. A beat on the earnings expectations, also known as a surprise, and closing near the day's highs to help confirm the strength of the gap up in price. There's a number of things you can configure inside of the trend follower indicator as it relates to a power earnings gap. So let me go ahead and bring up the settings, scroll down here to the bottom, and you can see down here we have a section labeled power earnings gap. And the first thing is you can turn it off and turn it on. You'll notice over here on the chart where the vertical line representing the power earnings gap and the text are no longer visible. We can turn on just the vertical line if we so choose. Give that one moment update and you'll see it right there. And you can also turn on the text, which will show right here. You can configure the percentage price gain that you're looking for to be considered a power earnings gap. I currently default this to eight. And you can also specify the minimum volume change. I have this set to 100%. And the volume is compared to the 50 day average volume. If you're interested to have a requirement for a positive earnings surprise, you can toggle this option on and specify the percentage that you'd like right there. And I also like to require where the gap up bar low is above the prior bar high. And the reason being is that results in a visual gap between the prior bar and the current bar. So let's take a look at a few more power earnings gaps. So this is CLS. We can see we had a power earnings gap on the previous earnings report back here. And we had another one up here more recently. So this is Palantir. We can see we have a power earnings gap that started today. And look at the volume spikes down here. If I zoom out a little bit, this is an interesting chart because starting over here on the left, you can see the number of times we've had power earnings gaps with this particular symbol. And also note at the volume spikes that went along with every one of these earnings reports and the power earnings gaps, pretty impressive. The next one I want to show here is team. This is another more recent power earnings gap. Again, we had one on the previous earnings report and here's the most recent earnings report right here. Netflix, again, here's a power earnings gap right back here. And here's a more recent one right here. And I should probably note that this horizontal line right here is always set at the low of the power earnings gap. And sometimes that can act as an area of support. For example, right here, we can see this is the gap up price pulled back the next day right to that low and has continued to slowly move upward. The last one I want to point out here is SFM. And similar to the chart with Palantir, you can see there have been several power earnings gaps over time. And every one of these was associated with a significant spike in volume. One of the really nice things about TradingView is you can do historical analysis. So I'm gonna go back in time and look at some true market leaders and we'll take a glance at their power earnings gap. The first one I wanna look at is Axon back in October of 2003. We can see right here, this is October of 2003. There's a power earnings gap right there. And look at this run all the way up and we didn't close below the 50 simple moving average until that point right there. If we bring up Fastly, this particular stock, we're gonna rewind back to May of 2020. And that's this particular point in time right here. And once again, we had that power earnings gap. The price never came anywhere close to the low of that gap up bar. From the beginning of the power earnings gap, in other words, the low right here up to the highest high, it was about a 338% increase in price. So I hope you found that helpful. I appreciate your time and we'll see you in the next video.